We're given the root of a tree and we want to find the height of the tree. In this case, the height of the tree would be four because the tree goes four layers deep. So in order to solve this efficiently, we want to try to write it recursively. We want to write height of root in terms of the height of some other nodes. The easiest thing to do is to try and write it in terms of the height of this node here and the height of this node here. And that's because the root node has access to those two nodes. Well, the height of the left node is just this. And the height of the right node is just this. All we have to do is take the max of these two heights, which would be this left height. And then we have to add one to account for this distance over here. So we've written the height of the root here in terms of the height of this guy and the height of this guy. But how does that help us? We don't know the height of this guy or this guy. Well, actually, we can figure those out the same exact way we figured out the height of the root. For example, if we want to figure out the height of the left node, the height of the left node is, again, the max of these two heights plus one. So this equation applies to all nodes in the tree, and that's why it's so powerful. It pretty much solves the whole problem. We can literally just tell the computer to apply this equation over and over again. The only other thing we have to do is tell the computer how to stop applying this recursion, because obviously it can't keep applying it forever. This happens when we're trying to find the height of a node that's null. You can't really use this equation on that, or else it'll get an error. We have to tell the computer to manually set height of null to something. Well, if the height of one node is 1, then the height of no nodes should just be 0. So, amazingly, once you have these two things, the recursion and the base case, you've actually solved the whole problem, and you can just code this up. In order to code this up, we want to write down height of root. And we want to tell the computer to use the recursion we just came up with. The only time we don't want to apply this recursion is if we're in the base case. And remember, the base case happens when the node is null, in which case we want to return 0. So that's it. That's really easy. Let's just make sure it works. And there we have it. Recursion is the most important idea in all of computer science, and the steps we just went through apply to all recursion problems. Now all you need is a little bit of practice.